Okay. Uh, hey folks, welcome to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're going to start in on Quern or Cairn, Undying Thoughts. Uh, it just came out on Steam today. It's from a company called Zadbox. And as you can kind of tell, this really does borrow, or at least take inspiration from, Myst. And as such, it's an exploration game with puzzles. The puzzles are integrated into the environment from what I've read. Uh, in the short amount of things that I've actually read. I haven't played this game past this little area where I just tested the recording and That's it. That's all I know. So I'm very excited because obviously, you know, Mist, Riven, Abduction, which we played on this channel uh, All great games, games I've super enjoyed and I am super looking forward to this one Now just to give you an idea of what's going on in terms of controls, we can run, we can jump I don't think we can crouch. I haven't found that uh, Right mouse button unlocks the cursor so we can manipulate puzzles, presumably. <laughs> I mean, if, it was, it, if it's the rules in abduction, right, there's just going to be complex stuff and things that we can manipulate. Then there's the zoom, which is incredibly powerful. And that's it. Now, for those of you who, uh, who didn't play abduction with me or who haven't played Myst or just don't know how these games go, or at least my philosophy on them, my philosophy is you explore everything first. Ah, so this is like panel working here. You explore everything first and then you start manipulating the environment. And the reason for that is you want to get a good baseline for what the place looks like before you start messing around with it. Because what happens if, for example, I press this button, maybe it has an effect here, but maybe it has an effect here and then an effect all the way across the map. Okay, well I won't know whether or not it had that effect unless I know what the original state of the map was. Which is why we want to look at everything first and then go back and start manipulating stuff. But, it says down here, letters help you progress in the game. Because they have hints and lore, presumably. So let's just read this. Welcome. I am Professor William Maythorn. Although I bear responsibility for trapping you in this world, I have no intention of harming you in any way. As a matter of fact, you should consider yourself lucky, for I wish to share all my knowledge with you. I will grant you the opportunity to study all of my discoveries and examine my wondrous creations. Eventually, I will require your assistance in an essential matter. You must cooperate with me, for you have no reason or chance to resist. <laughs> okay. All right, well... My natural dis, uh, distrust of NPCs is immediately apparent, but I mean, the man says he trapped us here. He uses that term, and then basically says that we have no choice but to, but to agree to help him. That does not endear me to trusting him, you know? Uh, also, we have this diagram. Now, I have a pen and I have a pad of paper here just for taking notes because that's the way that we play these games. Uh, but... Yeah, so I suspect that this was the case. Because browse letters, right? Um, we don't have to redraw this, which is great. Like, I'm going to take this with me. It looks like there's an inventory section, but I don't have anything in the inventory. Okay. Uh, although, here we go. Several objects can be picked up by clicking on them. And press... Okay, Q to open the inventory. We can rotate this. We can't rotate up. We can only rotate around. The back by dragging it. Yes, this is the back. Ooh, they do move, and these are like scratch marks. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, let's just see what else is there. Tab. Yeah. Tab. It's, so Q brings up just the inventory, but Tab is like this quick menu of what to do or what you want to bring up. Oh. Okay. So. We just picked up the other quarter of this seal, and it looks like we gotta probably organize the back here. So it's down, down and to the right, up and to the left, uh, up and to the right. Okay, inventory. <laughs> and now, of course, it has to be mirrored, right? So down, perfect. Down and to the left, up and to the left. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, perfect. Area discovered, main square, cool. 
Those crystals. I like that the crystals are like glowing and that they, they serve as light sources. Yeah, check that out. Whoops. Yeah, see? Cool. Um, do, 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 do. Speaking of, actually, here's the thing. Give me one quick second. Uh, I just realized I wanted to check one thing in the, in the settings and I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I'm back. Uh, just wanted to check one thing because uh, as you can see, I turned off uh, motion blur because it was it was giving me a headache when I was watching it but head bob is still on so if any of you guys have motion sickness problems after watching this let me know and I'll turn it off because I, I have no problem it's just some people I know can't handle the, the head bob I want to check what this button does a whole lot of bubkiss um, nope nothing okay well, we can't do anything with this Let's go to the main square. Let's just explore this place up a little. Yeah? Um, locked door. Okay. Yeah, it's a locked door. <laughs> I, I just had to double check just to be sure. Um... Uh, letters. I suspect that this corresponds to what's on the door right now, but we only have two of the five rings, so let's just keep looking. Maybe we'll find another letter that has, like, other rings. Um, and in any case, like, this is, this is the exact, uh, this is the exact perfect demonstration of why we want to look at everything. Because maybe there'll be more clues, right? Maybe there will be other letters we can read. Um, I guess that the that the handle is on the other side of this door because I can't open that. That leads out onto the docks, which maybe go and circle all the way around to that lock gate. Maybe. Ah. Um. Can't use that. Fine. Fine. No? No. Area discovered. Hanging platform. Ooh. Ah, okay, that's probably the, um, yeah, that's the, that's the lock gate, so it's separated by these bridges. This probably lowers at least half of it, may not lower both, maybe just this one? Okay, um... No. Let's keep going this way. Now again, I'm not pulling this or moving this because I... I haven't seen half of this area, so if this moves something here and happens to move something across the square, I want to be sure to see, you know? Okay, there's a letter and... I mean, given what these things do, I'm assuming it's kind of like a torch, but uh, we'll hold off. Uh, okay, that's a locked box, I don't have the key, and... a winch. The hook. Okay. Um, more benches. Yeah, see, check it out. There's the handle. It's on the other side of the door that we we couldn't open, right? It's the one that like you go underneath on a little walkway to go here. Okay. Um. Oh, hold on. Cool. Okay, so let's read this letter, shall we? When I set foot in this island, I was an enthusiastic archaeologist in search for the remains of an ancient civilization, the Dulmar. In manuscripts, they refer to this place as the Forbidden World. They called it Guan Quernalok. To simplify it, by the right of the explorer, I gave this island a new name, Quern. I soon realized that this world means much more than an archaeological site, and my interests expanded. To make you understand the extraordinary nature of this island, and to clarify my deeds for you, I left a series of letters around the island. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, right of the Explorer, by the way, I don't know what that means. That to me screams like this weird westernized colonialism thing where it's just they show up and just rename it. 
I mean, it's not that hard. Quernalock. You can pronounce it pretty well, dude. Okay. Um. Let's see where the chronicle is deeds. Like, this guy's just. Like, egan maniacal. But more importantly, we have the other three bands. So now we can go and unlock that door. Pick this up and see what this looks like, eh? Pretty cool. But I, it's bad I can't, like, rotate it up or down. But, okay. That's neat. Uh, we can't open that. I'm not using the winch, and I'm not using the lever. Because, remember, there is more stuff to look at in the main square. In fact, we're not even going to open this door right now. We're just going to keep looking at stuff in the square. Um, blue crystals now. I don't know what this is. It looks like... Kind of reminds me of, like, elevator call buttons, but maybe I'm wrong. In fact, I'm almost positive that I'm wrong, but, you know. And a hexag... Uh, pentagonal... Like we need a key or, like, a, a... A wrench or something. Okay. Uh, that's, um... I think we need... kind of wish... Here's the thing, I kind of wish we had a map, like I can redraw, like I might do this off camera, I might draw this little area and just make notes about what kind of mechanisms there are, like, you know, we need a, uh, pentagon, uh, no, 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 pentagon shaped key here, we need, it looks like just some sort of stick in order to work the lever mechanism probably to open this door, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, a mysterious oculus of some description, right? You know, all possible, all things. All things are different here. Uh, let's... Okay. And we need a hexagon here, okay. Ah, okay. Um... Wait. Wait a minute. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. So here's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lay odds on this little puzzle right here, and that is. At some point, we're gonna get a hex something. Um. Whether that rotates this thing on a spoke, or what, I don't know. But okay, fine. Eventually, somehow, we're gonna have to get this brick. Yeah, get this brick down here, because then, uh, here it is. See, there's a hole here, down here. So we'll get the brick here, we'll move it into this box. This box will then have extra weight, which will pull down on this rope. The rope goes up, down, around, underneath, and we can, dr like, drop what looks like a ramp. Uh, so we can walk up there. That's gonna be my guess for what this puzzle does. Okay. Um, okay, that's like a pickaxe icon. Nobody can use. And then another locked door. Ooh. Okay, this looks like a sphere. There's like a whole other area there. Okay, fine. Let's... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's... Are these... Are these pine cones? Okay. Are that are those ground up pine cones? Is that pine cone soup? Okay, well let's take it because it's in the inventory now. Um, but I I struggle to think of what that would be necessary for. But okay, let's go. Let's go here. Right. Uh, let's look at the letters. All right, so I'm not going to recreate the whole diagram, but I am going to I'm going to call them out like this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? In counter in clockwise order here. Uh, I'm going to call it out as one, three. I'm just going to write this is how I'm going to write it down in my notes. So first band, third position, right? So one, three, two, eight, three, two, two, eight, three, two. Okay, and then we need the next letter. Four, four, and five, five. Okay, uh, let's 
move this to the third position, right? One, three, two, eight. Uh, it would be very helpful if we could move it the other way so that we didn't have to go all the way around, but okay, that's fine. So this one just moves one because it's three, two, and these are both four, four, and five, five. They're literally just the number that they are. Oops. Very cool. Very cool. And if you saw in the bottom right, it auto-saves. Okay, let me put the pen down now. Thank you. Uh, okay, stones. More crystals. Whoa! Hold on. No, oh, trees. The architectural drawings of the buildings, I guess. And then... Using pine cones as bait for this fish, which I, I'm assuming shoots electricity. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we have bit. Oh, wait a minute. I had an idea. Remember, there's a winch over there with a hook? You know, what if we baited that hook with uh, the pine cones? Right? And then just lowered the hook down. Maybe we can catch something. Uh, it could also be possible that we're still missing a piece. I mean, the thing is, I'm not going to go do that uh, right away. Unless there's something in this chest that, like, leads me to believe. But at the moment, like, I don't even know what you would do with a fish. Right? There's not enough information here about what that fish is. That's interesting. Hold on. Check it out. This one doesn't glow. This one does, though. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. Um... is this <laughs> it's a hex wrench and you remember where the hex wrench was now this is again we're not going to fish because I, I don't know what to do with the fish and I don't want to just like progress that puzzle for no reason but instead let's go here okay nice now is this gonna very cool <laughs> sorry I did I saw this last time I didn't realize why it was here um it's so you can kneel or stand barefooted without, like, getting your knees or whatever scraped up by the hard wood. Eh? Cool. Okay, so. Uh, let's just try and play this game. Play this puzzle here. Now, we need to move this here, which means that both of these have to come on the far end of the metal block. I'm assuming this is made of metal. Um, now, what that means is... These are going to be very hard to move by themselves, right? You can't just move them like that, and... I mean, that's not going to help anything, right? Because, at best, it's going to move... I'm going to move these two out of the way, and then I'm going to be stuck, right? Because here, check this out. This, 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 I'm stuck. Right? I, there's nothing... There is nothing I can do. No, that's not... That's not helpful. Okay, so let's reset. This is where we were. So instead, it looks like these four are what really is going to move this whole puzzle. Okay, so let's try this. What if he, what if, okay, it's room here. So ideally, oh, hold on, okay, so we drop that down, fine. Now we can move this here. The reason I'm doing this is I want to move these up by one each. So I can move this block over fully, drop it down. Now, the point is I gotta raise this two-piece block. And obviously I can't move here, and I think I may have to backtrack a little because this is as much as I can get, and this is just sliding around. So instead, I have an idea. Nope. I mean would have worked that way anyway, but here's here's the idea. Okay? This moves here. And the reason I did that was now this, instead of moving between these two spots, this can move between these two spots. Why? Well, because check this out. Right? So this is clutch, because now you can make room for this two-piece to move up, and the iron block walks across. Right, and it's right at the hole. Let's just record, uh, record. Let's just rotate this all the way back. Nice, and there we go. Nice.
nice. Okay. I say nice a lot in this game. I don't know why. Um, whoa. Area discovered crystal lab. Stand still and press mouse 3 to zoom in. Okay, we did that guy. Thanks. Um, whoa. God, hold on. Uh, so we can... Yeah, we can interact with the basket. We can interact with this lever, which... Yeah, this diagram looks very much like that door, so we might open that door. Or it might open that door. Right? There are two of them. Uh, fine. Holy moly, guys. Everything here is interactable. <laughs> oh my god. White crystal, blue crystal, orange crystal. Some of these glow. Only the orange ones glow, though. Or not. Alright, we'll get there in a second. Um, okay. That, that's interactable. Oh my god. I think this is another number puzzle, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we know where it is, but I am going to recreate the symbols just as I as I say this, just to be sure. Uh, just to be on the safe side. You know what would be very cool? You know what would be very cool is if these were, uh, like we found recipes, right? Like it looks like you can crush up different crystals and you can, you know, do things with them, right? So wouldn't it be awesome? If you were like, oh, we need, you know, squiggly S circle, which is two, you know, units of blue crystal, and then, you know, backwards F, which is three units of orange crystal, you know, stuff like that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but let's keep looking around. And that looks like somewhere we might be able to go if we open... No, the back door, the back door, not that door. Nice back door, okay. Huh. You know what's interesting here? So I'm gonna guess that this is an old primitive like motor. Wind powered motor. Like, you know, as this turns, the copper coil inside rotates and it generates an electric current. And if you put current through the blues, you get uh light. But the orange ones can sponta spontaneously generate light. I just don't know anything about the white ones. Okay, ooh. Uh, we'll read that in a second. Is there anything here? No, it's just logs. The symbol for... Oh, wait, hold on. So I think this is a symbol for crystal. So this is like a crystal storage room or something. That weird pickaxe might be like a mine. And the gear might be like a workshop. Pure speculation, but I mean, that seems like a pretty worthwhile uh, pictogram nomenclature. That thing... No, for a second I thought it was like giving... No, it... Uh, it might be just the rendering. It looks like it's giving off a little like gas or something as it's radiating light. But when I zoom in, there's nothing, so it might just be the rendering. Um, and what's this? Oh my god. Um... Yeah, I'm recognizing squiggly S with a circle. Looks like a backwards F. I think that's another one of them. What else? This is another symbol that we had on the sheet. And just T. Is there a T? I don't see it. Might be this one. Interesting. Okay, so... Whoever this professor is, or whoever wrote that manuscript, that terrible handwriting compared to whatever this is. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're not even going to read these. Nope. I'm instead going to read this book, and we will call it there for this episode. Okay. The Legend of Quernalok. Guan Quernalok. Dalmarian, for a land of undying thoughts, is a mythological world first mentioned in an ancient Dalmarian manuscript, where it represents a great but undefined and uncontrolled power. 
According to the legend, wielding the power of Quernalok is a double-edged sword. Holding the metaphorical meaning of the greatest ultimate responsibility, this legendary world had a considerable impact on literature. Due to its enigmatic and unclear meaning, this world has no defined role in the Dalmarian mythology. The allegorical aspect of Quernalok was taken up in the works of several post-Dalmarian writers. There are writings in which Quernalok is mentioned as the world of the saviors, as an example of utopia. However, in several manuscripts, writers blame the curse of this world for the very fall of the Dalmar. According to the legend, Quernalok is a monoway world that was hidden within the world chain somewhere between the Lashan Line and the eastern edge of the Alona World Cloud. The Lashan Line is a series of secluded worlds mostly populated by primitive, independent tribes, while the Alona World Cloud is a cloud of 21 civilized worlds, which are members of the United Empire of Worlds. According to our current knowledge, the idea of a hidden world contradicts the rules of the world chain. Many unsuccessful expeditions were launched in search of Quernalok throughout the centuries. While present-day philologists and historians agree that the world is, that the story is fictional, there is still debate on what served as its inspiration. Huh. Okay, well, I am sufficient. I mean, I was sufficiently intrigued the moment I started this game, but I am 100% all in now. So I am looking forward to finishing and fully playing this game. I hope you guys take the adventure with me because I think this would be amazing. Um. That said, if you guys enjoy this, uh, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, lets me know that I'm doing something right, lets me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about this game, if you already have, you know, speculations or ideas on what might be going on, if you think that I've over overlooked something already, or, you know, you just have any sort of ideas about the game, by all means, let me know. Uh, everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Brother, <laughs> <laughs>